Tablets aren't the most innovative tech product you can buy at the moment. Not many people are upgrading because they're actually quite happy with their old iPad or their older tablet, but there are some new products out there for you, including the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 and a brand new iPad. So we thought it was time to update our best tablet list for YouTube. So here are our top five tablets that we think you should buy this year. At number five is the Asus ZenPad 3S10. That's quite a complicated name, and you probably haven't heard of this tablet. It's the lesser known tablet on this list, but we've included it because it has a great price, but you're also gonna get an amazing screen and really good processing power. It's a 9.7 inch tablet, so the same size as a new iPad or an iPad Pro, but it also has a QHD resolution, so that's a really good option. In terms of prices, it's $339 or around 350 pounds, so quite a bit cheaper than most of the other options options on this list. Next up is the iPad mini 4. Now this is the smallest tablet you're going to find on this list and if you're looking for a small form factor tablet you're going to want to go for this one. Now you're getting a 7.9 inch screen again with a good resolution but you're also getting iOS 10 software. We generally find that to be better software, it's better scaling for mobile, it's generally a little bit better on larger screens than Android software. So we probably recommend iPads over Android tablets, that's why a few more of those feature in this list. The one negative of the iPad mini 4 though is you can only buy the 128 gigabyte version of this tablet now. So you're gonna have to spend a little bit more money than compared to the 32 gigabyte iPad, which is coming up. And at number three on the list is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. This is a really premium design tablet from Samsung. Again, you're getting a 9.7 inch screen with a really good resolution, a really nice design. And the big benefit of this tablet is you get a stylus in the box. If you're gonna buy an iPad Pro and you want a stylus, you're actually gonna have to spend more money on an Apple Pencil, but here it's thrown in with the price of the Galaxy Tab S3. The big downside to the Tab S3 though is the price. It's gonna cost you about 600 pounds or $600. That's a lot of money to spend on a tablet and you can actually get iPads cheaper than that. In second place on our best tablet list is the iPad Pro 9.0. This allows you to attach pro features such as a smart keyboard or the Apple Pencil and that can be a major benefit to you if you're looking to do really high productivity tasks with your tablet. If you're going to be watching a lot of media or listening to a lot of music, this might be the tablet for you because it has four speaker drivers as well. To take advantage of the pro elements of the iPad Pro, you're going to have to spend a lot more money on this though because the accessories from Apple do cost quite a bit. And then our best tablet in the world right now is the brand new iPad from Apple. You're getting another great screen, you're getting another great processor here, but the main focus is the price. Apple has managed to drop the price from the iPad Air 2, and it's a lot cheaper than even the iPad mini 4 that you can buy right now. The main negative of the new iPad is there's no 256 gigabyte option. There's only 32 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte, depending on how much you want to spend. So you've probably noticed most of the tablets in this list are iPads. So we've done a video dedicated to the differences of each of the iPads. We even include the iPad Pro 12.9 edition. You should watch that to work out which is the best iPad for you. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you again soon.